happy Friday, everyone. I hope you guys had a great week. Um, I know this weekend it's going to be a little bit warmer than it has been, which will be nice. So hopefully you guys can do, maybe you have something fun planned for the weekend. Like maybe, you know, you can get outside and do something outside or have a movie night at home maybe. Something fun like that. So I have a book today and it's called Apes Find Shapes. And I thought this would be a great book to kind of read. Um, and as a little bit of a review of some of the shapes that we've learned about. And it's just a fun book in general. I just like the pictures in it and getting to look at the different shapes. And um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it and hopefully you can recognize some of the shapes in here. Oh, and our author is Jane Belk Moncure. I hope I said that right. And it's illustrated by Joy Friedman. So that's the person that made the pictures. The library, a magic castle. So here's a little poem at the beginning of the book that I'm going to read. Come to the magic castle when you are growing tall. Rows upon rows of word windows line every single wall. They reach up high, as high as the sky, and you want to open them all. For every time you open one, a new adventure has begun. Now, remember, we've talked about poems in class before, and what is one way that we know that something is a poem? How can we tell that that was a poem? Do you guys remember? Well, if you said, because there are rhyming words in it, you are right. So there were lots of rhyming words in here. So let's see if we can find some. So tall and wall rhyme, as well as, so tall, wall, and all rhyme high and sky rhyme and then one and begun rhyme so lots of rhyming words in there all right we'll get started on our story now <clears throat> tracy opens a word window so it looks like she's reading the same book we are apes find shapes Guess what Tracy sees? Four funny apes. Hi, say the apes. Let's find shapes. This is an ape in a shape in a circle. This is an ape in a shape in a circle shape. Says the first little ape. Let's find circle shapes. The apes find traffic light circles. One, two, three. And circle eyes on an owl in a tree. They find round circle pancakes cooking in a pan. Mmm, yummy. I could go for some pancakes right now. Bubbles. A ball and a circle snowman. Oh, you know what? Even his sunglasses are circles and his buttons. Oh, and even the little tiny pieces of snow are little circles too. Let's eat a circle, says the ape. Let's do. Tracy eats one donut. The ape eats two. This table is a circle, the plate is a circle, the stools are a circle. Oh, there's a circle too. This is a square shape, says the second little ape. 
they find a square window and little square blocks, a checkerboard, and a big square box. They find stickers and books and a lunch box too. And then a lion's square cage. So remember, a square is the same length on all four sides. At the zoo. Let's eat a square, says the ape. Let's do. Tracy eats one cracker, the ape eats two. So look, they have a square table, square chairs, a square rug, square crackers, and square little flowers. Oh, and the box that the flowers are in are, so that's a square too. This is a triangle shape, says the third little ape. Let's find triangle shapes. They find triangle flags and a triangle sail. Triangle teeth. Ooh. And a triangle tail. So he's got spikes all down, triangle spikes all down his tail. And look, the sun has little triangles too. They find triangle baskets and a little teepee. A triangle kite and a triangle tree. Let's eat a triangle, says the ape. Let's do. Tracy eats one slice of pie. The ape eats two. Look at that triangle table and triangle chairs again. And the pie is cut into triangles. Yum. This is a rectangle shape, says the fourth little ape. Let's find rectangle shapes. Now remember, a rectangle is kind of like a square, but two of the sides are longer than the other two sides. See how these two are shorter and these two are longer. They find rectangle windows, a rectangle door, and a rectangle robot on a rug on the floor. Let's eat a rectangle, says the ape. Let's do. Tracy eats one candy bar. The ape eats two. Look at that long rectangle table and that long rectangle carpet or rug. And I see a rectangle here. Even the placemats are rectangles and the chocolate bars are rectangles. Then four little apes put shapes together and zoom away. Bye-bye. Tracy closes the word window. So they put all the shapes together to make a rocket ship to zoom away. Bye-bye, little monkeys. Can you read these words with Tracy? Let's see. Pancake. Ball. Bubbles. What's this? Traffic light. Ooh, remember the owl eyes? Owl eyes. Snowman. And those are all of our circle shapes. Let's go over to the square shapes. Square. We have a box. Ooh, there's a cage. Cage blocks, cracker, lunchbox, oh, a little sticker, checkerboard, and book. 
Now let's come over to the triangle shapes. So this was the sail that was on the boat. So sail, tree, teepee, pie, kite. That was, it looks like just a little triangle, but that was a flag, a little flag on the boat, I think, on one of the pages. So flag and basket. And last but not least, let's take a look at our rectangle shapes. Let's see if we can read some of those words. So you guys know what this is. That is a door. Here's a window. A robot. A candy bar. Nice yummy chocolate candy bar. Mm. And a rug. Good job, guys. That's the end of our book. So, I hope you all enjoyed that one. Thank you for listening. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And actually, next week will be our spring break. So, um, that means that you guys can take a break from schoolwork next week. We don't have any assignments or anything for you guys to do. Um, unless, of course, you would you want to still do some schoolwork, then by all means, you are more welcome. You are more than welcome to still do that. But it is very optional, so you do not have to. But I will check in at some point over spring break. And um, other than that, enjoy the weekend. Enjoy spring break. Hopefully, maybe... Um, you guys can do something fun. I know there's not a whole lot that we can do right now, but even if it's just getting outside and enjoying some sunshine and fresh air, or, you know, spending some time doing something fun at home in the house, you know, maybe you could do an experiment or watch a movie or have a game night. Game nights are always fun. So, all right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.